welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we're getting a little bit festive in today's video and i'm also going to bring you up to speed with things with the house the renovation what's going on what we're doing for christmas our kind of plans in terms of decorating the house doing a bit of decorating today and yeah a fun little festive day with me today before i jump into today's vlog i wanted to firstly kindly thank pd paula for very kindly sponsoring today's video they have lots of amazing offers on full black friday sales it is the season it's the season for shopping i've ordered some new bits and i wanted to show you them along with running through the offers um, that are available i will leave links to these items down below in the description box if you want to shop any yourself and the black friday sales start from thursday 24th at midnight you can get a discount on up to 40 percent depending on the amount of items that you purchase one item you get 20 percent two is 25 percent off three is 30 percent off and four is you guessed it 40% off and they do also have a fine jewelry line as well which even has 10% off so amazing offers to be had to start with showing you this necklace that I purchased now I've got a lot of um pieces all these pieces are kind of like for me anyway festive kind of party jewelry whilst being quite delicate and dainty I do quite like to add a bit of glitz for the festive season you know just in a subtle way so i'm gonna pop this necklace on so you can see the length of it and how it looks it's a really nice length actually sometimes i find necklaces quite short so this is how this necklace looks it's got three hanging bits which are just so beautiful then i did get a ring and this one is great because especially if you're buying for gifts for someone it is adjustable so if you're unsure on their ring size pretty flexible with this one in terms of being able to um, open it slightly again just a bit of glitz for the festive season so so pretty and I also got this ring which has like a plain gold band and then this irregular shaped sparkly section I feel like this one is um best suited to that finger on me Oh, I just love that. I love the kind of irregularity to it. It kind of looks like you're stacking rings as well. And then I got some festive earring options. Now you guys know I like quite simple, minimal, dainty earrings. And these are just something a little bit different because of the shape of them. I just thought they looked really unique. They kind of like sit tucked around your earlobe. How pretty is that? And then I'll show you the other set I got for comparison. And you guys know I love living in these little kind of glitzy huggy earrings so be sure to check them out thank you so much to pd paula for very kindly sponsoring today's video i feel like i am going to um show you guys some house updates first then i have a haul with some new in bits and some bits that i'll be using for decorating for christmas as well loads of gifting ideas as well and we will get to work with putting a few decorations out so i've got a bit of bad news guys we're not gonna have a tree this year, which I know is, what? Let me just explain myself and then you might be able to understand why and understand my pain of not having a tree this year. I am gonna be going home to my parents for Christmas. Tom is going to be with his mum, they are going away. We are getting out of the house for a good solid couple of weeks in December to allow the builders to crack on with the renovations and that includes the entire of the ground floor. So we will have no kitchen, that current kitchen living area that we've been living in, that is all getting completely ripped out and it's gonna become a new kind of cozy living room and dining room so we're going to be without a kitchen until the new one is built of which I we yet to even order that yet so we're going to be without a kitchen for a while so hence why we're going to get out of the house for a couple of weeks over Christmas just enjoy the festive period enjoy new years and just kind of get away from the mess to be honest with you but also for that reason I figured there's no point really in decorating not decorating altogether I will get out a few little knickknacks and bits here and there but the full tree there's no living room for it to go in there's no kitchen for it to go in it would have to go in our bedroom and I think it will be it's quite a big tree for that bay window with like our wardrobe and things in there so I've got a branch tree that I'm going to get out like I said, a couple of other decorations, but no Christmas tree. Let's get on with sharing with you some of the house updates. I'm going to show you some clips first from before current day, and then I'll talk you through what it's currently looking like. So I'll show you some clips of the progress made so far since the previous renovation vlog. 
So I last left you with an update regarding our house being fully pointed. We've also had the sills put in, new stone sills, which are just much fresher. The old ones were really crumbling away, not looking good at all. Then we took delivery of our coping stones. We've gone for a kind of domed shape. And then inside we've had a lot of the walls propped and bricks taken out, ready for this steel delivery that we took and the steels to go in. They also put up scaffolding for the roofing to begin, the tiles to be put on, and started with opening up the old room, which we needed to clear out, and taking out the first layer of all of those bricks ready for the steels to go in. Once all the steels were in, we used this kind of um, lift to be able to prop the steels to lift them up. We kept all the props in place for a couple of days until the welders came out and welded them all together. And we've been keeping the bricks that we've been taking out from the old part of the house to replace it with the new extension so that the wall blends in seamlessly with the old and it looks like it's always been there. This was after a late shift from the builders getting the steels in place ready for the morning for the welders to come and weld it all together. They then began tiling the roof with all of the slate tiles again to match in with the slate tiles that we had replaced on our original roof when we first moved in and then it was time to have the windows put in. We've also been rebuilding the front this is the front sill that was completely lopsided so we've ordered all new sills that weren't crumbling fresh new stones to go in and they just kind of sit as they are no need to paint them or anything and then we've gone for flat coping stones for all of the side steps in comparison to these domed ones along the patio area but then we have also taken a delivery of the tiles these ones are from mandarin stone and they're really nicely textured which i feel like the patio kind of needs because we'll probably have dogs running in and out muddy paws we also went for a sand beige kind of colored um, drain for on the patio. Obviously we will need some kind of draining. You can see it's a pretty good match. We've also had the iron railings taken out and these will be replaced in future on top of where these, um, these stones have gone. So they've gone all the way down the stairs as you can see there and they will be tiling at the bottom. Then it was time to rip out once we'd emptied out that um, back room as it became part of the new extension. We had to rip everything out, including the old fireplace, skirting boards, plaster, the door as well had to be removed. And then we had the internal wall, the last and final one, build it up so that it's gonna become a watertight space when the doors are in. This just shows the drainage at the bottom of the stairs underneath like where the basement is. And as you can see, the wall is all built up. This one's been leveled out, the door taken out. So it's all nice and open. It gives you a better understanding of how this space is gonna look. And we also had the flooring insulated and started to be laid ready for the underfloor heating to go on. Now it's just time for me to start planning my kitchen and I'll bring you up to speed with things today. Okay, let's start out on the side of the property. As you can tell, we've had a rip out of the old fireplace. These metal grids have been taken out from the steps and the steps have started to be laid and built up and everything and then tiled at the bottom. And then it's kind of matched up down this side as well. So we will have maybe like an iron grid kind of thing coming along here with like a gate in so that you can either go right down the stairs or left down the stairs. And then the tiles on the floor. So the um, our builders actually sourced these tiles. They obviously still need to grout it. They just need to finish building up that step and then yeah that area we're probably going to render inside there because if you can see all of the grey blocks inside so obviously we need to do something and we were just going to paint these white but they're rendering the back anyway probably not until spring next year just for the weather um we might get them to render this wall as well. All of external drains have been it's kind of like matched up and wires as well electrics for sockets cameras so again rendering these stairs which is basically going to be all of these walls and the external walls we're going to just have in white render however because of the weather and these walls being quite wet they've best advised to just hold off until the weather starts getting a bit warmer in spring so for now we're just going to crack on with the inside and also the um st these steps can be tiled as well as this kind of patio area the day that you are watching this video is the day that we're having the doors fitted and i've got an appointment with howden's to have a kitchen mock-up done and they'll be laying this um screed over this and tiling it 
a couple of days after that so I feel like I might have another renovations vlog coming pretty soon after this one because we will have quite a few updates I've had all the kind of plastics sorted all the drains along here the roofing has been done that my little window there which you'll see from the inside is kind of boxed in um, so that bit from if you're looking the, through the window is now blackened charcoal like a rubber type thing so it's just nice and simple essentially not an eyesore anymore and then in here we obviously have the big progress of the steels having been in since i last spoke to you the walls all built up the ceiling put on ceiling roof put on the windows put in the first fix electrics has been done as well i think it was those guys that put up this yeah it is i can see sockets and stuff um along here so yeah that's kind of like the layout the floor plan of what we've got so it'll be a corridor into this big open space here this kitchen living area patio and then into the garden this area is changing up slightly we're actually keeping the toilet with the door as is it as it is already so ignoring this and we're not going to open have an opening here so this back door here is literally just going to go into this um this kind of dining living area which is our current living kitchen so it's probably not going to be used that often but the um opening up of this to allow a doorway into the kitchen living area which essentially would be there is actually not feasible um or it's not easy anyway it's going to be an extra steel that we'll have to water and put in and we thought you know what this is going to be like all open um, i know it's boarded up now because that's where we're living currently this is going to be all open into the corridor you'll be able to see the front door from here so i don't feel like we'll ever use that side door anyway into the dining room and also it'd feel a bit kind of restricted if we had a door into here into the living kitchen area from outside because my plan is to have tv on this wall kind of a sofa area here coffee table maybe so it'll be more like a living space and then this side being the kitchen so i don't think i'd want a door walking into that space anyway i think it would make it more of a challenge to style up this space so we decided to just keep it as it is open up that section here nice big corridor all open plan nice and i feel like open plan living is just nice and um sociable and we've had this wall built back up Obviously, like I said, the windows fitted. So these three big windows are the main windows along the main kitchen run. This thinner window will be in the pantry. The pantry is two meters deep. So it's quite a generous sized pantry. And we've also had all of the flooring. This is the king span insulation put into the floor. These floorboards are going on top. And then obviously we've had the first fixed electrics done, like I said, so all of these wires and everything are kind of positioned where they need to be. We're going to have spots throughout here. We have got if you can see these hanging wires here for all of the spots ready to go and we decided against pendants because it's quite a tall ceiling. We decided that although we're going to have an island here, there's nowhere really for the pendant to come down from. Well, there is up here, but it's going to be such a long pendant that I just don't think it would look quite right. So we're just going to have spots throughout. We're going to have this on one board so that we can switch these lights on and then the living area ones on a separate one as well so that you can either have them all on, just that one on, just that one on. And I think what we'll end up doing is having the spots on in the kitchen and then in this living space actually having lamps to make it a bit more cosy. So yeah, that's the plan. We were also going to, um, I can't remember the last time I've spoken to you about this on YouTube. I speak to you guys bit more regular on Instagram but this old chimney breast this room that we've had ripped out we were gonna kind of make it one flush wall easier to style and then kind of box in the beam however we have decided to keep it as it is rather than waste that space keep it as it is box it in around the chimney breast have the tv mounted here we're actually not going to have a fireplace in here like a little console or something underneath it and then on either side we'll have a kind of built-in unit whereby shelf height will be like a boxed in cupboard and then we could probably have shelves above it or have artwork or something either side so that or even mirrors maybe um but basically make use of the space there rather than just make it all one level wall this space here we have boarded up area which is going to be a long corridor we've got the door into our basement which we obviously still use on a regular basis I tend to go in from the outside door though to be honest rather than coming all the way through here and then this is the downstairs loo if you remember it from the original house tour it's obviously not changed just become part of the building site now 
it's not even in use this toilet or anything so we're essentially going to keep this pretty similar just a door in uh, some kind of vanity and toilet system we are going to have the toilet boxed in and the waste going out that way though so that toilet just needs to move to be backed against that wall maybe a vanity over this side probably so that it's not kind of tucked away behind the door and then behind this door we'll probably have like some hooks or something like that as a bit of a downstairs cloakroom type thing but yeah that is how the space is currently looking. I cannot wait to get going. Now that there's nothing really to change structurally, when the um, doors are in, it's then a watertight space and they can crack on doing the internal work. So this just needs ripping out. Uh, but apart from that, it's just a case of lining, plasterboarding, plastering, painting and decorating. Which I know sounds like a lot of steps to do, but actually, the structural work is the one that seems to take the most time there's nothing really to change obviously they need to rip out the kitchen as well the old kitchen and living space ready to board and line that up which is going to be starting from the 5th of december so pretty soon we're going to be without a kitchen hence why over christmas we're probably going to have a couple of weeks to just be with our families and just get out of here let them crack on we be out of their way the dog be out of the way and then obviously the garden is a whole other project in itself for now we're just going to stick with the house getting the house done look at all these footballs from the neighbors <laughs> the neighbors we've got neighbors there that have got kids neighbors there that have got kids and there just seems to be footballs in our garden all the time yeah that's how it's looking and stay tuned for more updates very very soon can you see that massive pile behind me these a loads of new bits I've received from PR that I've been shopping and that I thought I would sit down and share with you. So, excuse the lighting, I've just had to put on the lights because it's getting a little bit dark outside. It's always un I'm unsure as well, like at this time of the year I'm always like, is it getting dark or is it just miserable? I can't quite tell. Um, let me go grab some bits to share with you. We've got homeware, we've got fashion. Make sure if you're not already with a drink in hand, get comfy guys. And let's chat through some new bits. Okay, so the main bits that I've got really are from Next. I've got a couple of H&M bits as well. Um, but good gifting opportunities as well with some of these items because of the kind of things that I've picked up. So let's start with Next actually. I'll show you some clothes first. Oh my God, I've got the most perfect transitional coat into the cold weather because this is weighty. 98 pounds, so a really great quality coat for under 100 pounds to last you for years and years and years. And it's kind of a trench style. It's kind of like a houndstooth brown country style coat. Anyway, I got it in a size 12. It does contain wool. Then I also got a jumper for Barney. How adorable is this? Proper winter cozy jumper. I don't ever really put clothes on him, but when I saw that they had matching adult and dog sets I thought you know I'm gonna have to pick up a good gift idea like I said and even if it's just for a cozy winter's Instagram picture then it's worth it so I got the jumper in a large this is 36 pounds and again that traditional kind of cable knit design I love for winter I also got Barney a barber jacket I picked myself one up recently and I thought do I be that person and get my dog a matching coat yeah, why not? So yeah, they have Barbara on next and Barney has an extra large. So it's like a wax jacket that just sits over their body with a little collar. There's a little hole there for their harness, like clip if you need that. Barber logo on the side and this for, um, this one that I've gone for, they've got loads of different ones, but it's a kind of like really dark green and brown uh, traditional barber check and that just does up with velcro so yeah got him that then i also got a set of christmas pjs and these are nice and thin and lightweight actually so nice for you know if you've got the log burner on or if you're nice and toasty and warm cuddled up watching tv you don't want to be too hot this is a nice thin lightweight set so gorgeous forest green kind of color which i'm loving i got this set in a medium these are what the bottoms look like and then the top this 22 pounds um is like that it's just like a basic kind of crew neck um long sleeve top i love treating myself to several pairs of pajamas every year at this time of the year it just gets so cozy i also like to get these slipper socks of which next also do this is the pour range in a medium to large i got this one 
and they've got little pom-pom bobble type things again that cable knit design and then I picked up some gloves I'm in need of some cozy gloves to keep me warm on all of our dog walks I thought I'd get these ones they're only six pounds they're so soft I also got a dressing gown for um actually I was going to include this in a gift guide for him and it just didn't arrive in time and I thought you know I actually don't know who I'm going to give this to I've got dad brother and tom they're probably my options like this dark gray with like a brown inner liner so we'll see who this one ends up going to i just got the biggest size they had at 2xl i feel like with a dressing gown all of the men the three men in my life are like six foot two six foot three six foot four so they're all kind of similar height 2xl would fit any of them really just as nice cozy oversized dressing gown I feel like next do really good dressing gowns I also got this these ones are for my brother because he likes to play golf and I saw that they had these again a lot of these were for a gift guide for him that just didn't arrive in time so plenty of gift ideas they had loads of different designs depending on like the theme they had like dog ones different sports this one obviously being the golf one and then I got some homeware bits so I got this uh silver trees hand towel and it's quite hard to see in this light but yeah just like a gray and silver um Christmas tree design I got this again for sharing and nibbles this is part of the Oakley range so it's kind of a it reminds me of the Denby range that do this color I found managed to get my hands on the Emma Bridgewater golden retriever mug not gonna lie kind of want a whole set of these I absolutely love them they've got loads of different breeds and then they've got like a generic dog one as well but yeah this is the golden retriever one. Oh, how cute and then I did also pick up a Christmassy one and I do really like the Emma Bridgewater mugs I feel like they're a good size mug I enjoy I've only got one other one and I enjoy having a coffee in it so this this is just my new favorite mug of all time that it can have out all year round but I've also obviously got the Christmas edition too with loads of different cookies and biscuits because tis the season to snack am I right and then I got a couple of home fragrances from next they do their home fragrances really well I think this festive spice diffuser I've had in a different shape before and it just gives off a really good smell amount of smell so this one yeah they've got a couple of different sizes I've not had this one before it's in the shape of a Christmas tree a white one in the scent festive spice top notes of clementine and orange hearts of cinnamon and clove and a base of musk and then I also picked up the scent of Christmas candle just a white candle with a cork lid little gold Christmas tree on it oh the nostalgia of this scent when I was like I'm gonna say a teenager I remember my mum getting a load of next home fragrance bits one year and I just remember the wintry smell that the home oh just scents do do that don't they 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 kind of it like works with memories as well um uh, yeah anyway moving on I've got some wrapping paper some fun dog gift wrap they've got a couple of different designs this year I bought this one and then I saw that they'd uploaded a new design and I was like oh I kind of prefer the newer design so I'm not sure if I'll send this back and replace I don't think I will I think I'll just keep this one but next next year I'll keep my eyes peeled for the other one but yeah this one is just like a red and white design and they've got a couple of tags ribbons this one's my favorite one I feel like we always like to, well, I always like to, even though I've only had one Christmas with Barney, um, wrap up some gift gifts for him. It kind of keeps him entertained whilst we all open our presents because the best part he enjoys is unwrapping the gift. Once he gets to the toys, like, right, next? What's the next one that I can destroy? And then I got this gift wrap. Um, I Again, I bought this before I'd found my other ones that I got from B&M, the ones that I love from there. And I also picked up another one from home scents that I prefer however I still really like this one and it's a good autumnal one as well even so like I've got a um it's just a brown acorn design I've got a gift wrap storage bag down in the basement which is so handy um it's only five pounds as well for 10 meters it's so handy to have that down there and I just have loads of different gift wrap as and when I see it rather than buying it for when I need it I've always got one then you know so if ever I've got a gift to wrap I know I've always got kid friendly wrapping paper Christmassy birthday wrapping paper I've got the lot 
Okay, last and final item from Next I've got to share with you, and it is a bauble. It's called the Wellington Bauble. And although I'm not gonna do a Christmas tree this year, I am, I have bought a couple that I will use for future trees. And honestly, next year will fly by, I'm sure. Christmas will come around again. I'll probably have two trees as well to decorate by that point. So I'll have the Balsam Hill one in our front room. And then in our living kitchen, we'll probably go and get a real one. So yeah, plenty of decorations needed for next year. But yeah, I saw this and I thought with that like kind of forest green element that I love, as well as the burgundy, I don't have that many green ones. So yeah, six pound and it's a, literally a set of Wellington boots. I'll probably change out the ribbon because it's just like a box standard, um, like gold cheap ribbon. Probably put like a velvet one, black velvet maybe. But yeah, how cute. It's going with the whole country theme and barber and green countryside that I'm loving. I'll show you a couple of smaller businesses now that have very kindly sent me some things that I wanted to mention again, great gifting ideas. So you might have heard me talk about the candle collection before, but um, Em from the candle collections very kindly sent me some more bits and um, oh, I just had to share them with you. Amazing, amazing things on her website this year. So she's got these little houses these ones are ceramic tea light holders. So they've got the hole at the back for the tea lights, rustic kind of looking uh, townhouse thing, a thing, you know, like home decor. Got these little star bowls. She sent me one of those. And then these are fab. They are these scented hanging townhouses, um, ceramic pomanders, which you can just spray. This is in the scent Snow Angel. And then she also sent me some of her heart tea lights. These are unscented. Good old classic wax melts, which I am a big fan of her wax melts. So she sent me two scents, one sweater weather, which I love. And they are in these little kind of festive shapes. And then I also got the winter scent. And then the best thing, in my opinion, I think this is fantastic for a wax melt lover. She's done her very own advent calendars this year. All of the scents that are included. Sweater weather, vintage bookstore, cinnamon and pine cones, Christmas cookie, snow angel, fireside, winter. Sounds amazing. We also went to a Glossier event recently in Manchester. We went to, um, we went for dinner at Gotham Hotel, which was lovely. And they were talking to us about their new candles. They've got two scents. This is the Glossier U scent. So if you know their fragrance that they've created, it's kind of like a um, perfume. Oh, it smells good. It's kind of like a perfume that you adapt to in your skin. It like kind of, once it settles on you, it smells different on everybody. So they have these new candles and look at that. They've actually engraved it with Freya, which is such a nice personal touch. But yeah, gorgeous festive red color and that smells lovely. In fact, I'm gonna take that downstairs and burn that today. And then the last of the kind of small businesses that very kindly sent me some bits are, is um, a brand called Olive and Wood Interiors. They have some gorgeous bits very very my style i could honestly shop the entire website so they've got some festive editions i thought i would show you these kind of like glittery pine cones they also have such nice homeware pieces these aren't all just festive these are actually all year round um got some mugs <clears throat> and again that kind of rustic almost zara home style mug i just think is lovely and then they sent me this gorgeous kubu wicker basket i'm a big fan of these i feel like you can never have enough storage baskets in this gorgeous wicker finish so i've got one of those and then also to kind of style up in it or i might even put these elsewhere but i've got a linen cushion and this has like a gorgeous kind of frill edging detail. And then lastly, I got this throw. So again, a very similar color to the cushion actually, like a gorgeous natural stone kind of color. And this again has a kind of raw edging to it. Just really nice textured, um, super, super soft throw that I think is gonna look gorgeous styled up. That's everything that I got from Olive and Wood Interiors. I'll leave links to all of these below. The last of the bits that I wanted to share with you is actually some items from H&M. Oh, H&M. <laughs> Gosh, I've got so many. I've just stocked up on 
a few basics. I've got some long sleeve tops. I think these are only about eight pounds. They don't have the price on them, but I'll leave them all linked below. So I've got a basic black in a small, basic white in a small. Then I also got some workout bits, just kind of boring, but I'll show you anyway. From the active range in a medium, I've got this lightweight kind of jacket. Again, just for kind of dog walks, jogs, runs that I do in winter to just have that extra layer. And then I also got these, which I'm still not really sure about, to be honest with you. It's from the H&M Move range and they are called running pants. So they're like a trouser as opposed to a legging. I got this basic black skirt, just to, again, stocking up on basics in a medium. This I'm thinking of wearing with like, I've got some, I've ordered the Gucci tights, which I'm yet to wear. And I was thinking of styling them for an evening with like a blazer, oversized blazer as a bit of a blazer dress, kind of cinched in with a waist belt, nothing on underneath, maybe a little lacy bralette or something. Just have that kind of as a bit of extra layer. And then also I got this basic running top. This is actually a pack of two, that black one. And then this kind of um, beige colored one and then this was so affordable i loved the print on it it's just a sweatshirt essentially i think it says oakland does it oakland but yeah it kind of goes all the way over the sleeves as well which i love did size up to an extra large to be a bit more oversized but i probably would um wear this just relaxing casual i think it was only about 15 pounds then i got this um sweater dress it's like a knit dress just cable knit design. I got that one in a small. I decided to splurge. And you know how H&M sometimes have like really affordable then they have really luxe. And this was one of those luxe items at hundred pounds or just under for a kind of cashmere blend jumper. I love it. I do love, I do love it in terms of the look of it. I just don't know with these high necks. I know that I'd get irritated. And as much as I love the look of them, I just feel like I wouldn't ever reach for it. And then I got some trousers. These have like an elasticated waist. It's kind of like a hidden comfy pair of trousers. Again, very affordable. They have loads of different colors. I just went for this kind of darker, olivey, darker natural color. And then I got this knit dress. Is this a knit dress? Yeah, I prefer this material and it's almost a bit like kind of cinched in around the waist. Can you see that? A bit like hourglass and it is shorter as well. So again, that could be a good option with my Gucci tights, maybe some over the knee or high knee to the knee boots. Um, I got that one in a medium. And then I got some homeware and accessories bits. This one is so adorable. I nearly wore it to that event that I went to at Hotel Gotham. I had full intentions of wearing it. Got dressed and everything and then just completely forgot to put this on, but it's a bow in this velvet color, but it's in chocolate brown. They had one in green, which I loved, but it sold out. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for that one because I do love that color. I want to style my hair just to kind of clip these bits back here. And it just kind of sit like this. Does that look cute? Cute, feminine, girly, Christmassy. I feel like the Christmassy element is because of the, the fact that it's like a velvet. I got a cushion cover, which was like in and out of stock and I wanted it for the longest time and I ended up just buying the bullet and getting it when I when I saw that it came back into, um, into stock. And it's this winter farm with a tree illustration design. Cut your own Christmas trees, pine fir, spruce cedar. Probably put that on our bed. Whilst I put out a few Christmas decorations. And then what else did I get? Oh, okay, this I remember I'm gutted because I'll show you the image on the screen of what this looked like on the website. If you can see, it's like a marble salt and pepper pot, but it looked very like a warm marble like a beige marble however it's arrived and it's very much gray and i feel like they had a gray one so i'm almost like thinking have they sent me the wrong one anyway i got two more items i'm going to show you these at the same time actually because they're kind of part of the same range a matching scent home scent of woodland stories which just sounds so cozy and festive so i got this um glass candle can you see it's like a ridged glass it's gorgeous and it smells of like 
it's woody and aromatic it says so it smells of like fur basically and then the reed diffuser is kind of like glam actually it goes with the candle with the glass but it's got black reeds and it's got a little black bow on it as well so again very kind of a bit glam so yeah that is everything that i have picked up recently that i wanted to show you now i feel like it's time to make myself a drink probably and get cracking with a little bit of festive a little festive touch in the house without going overboard which makes me very sad but oh, i don't need to dwell on it do i i just need to realize that progress is what's important with our house renovation. I suppose I could have done a tree in my bedroom, but no. I feel like it's just gonna have to wait, seeing as though we're away for Christmas anyway. I'm just gonna enjoy my mum and dad's Christmas tree. I'll show you that when I go home. I'll show you their Christmas tree. But anyway, that is um, everything I wanted to share with you. I need to pack up, put these bits away now, don't I? Fun for me. Alive, got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light. I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days. Wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and Outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present. Come over here. Now it is time to get out in the snow. Whilst in my bathroom, sorry, it's probably a bit echoey in here, I thought I would just fill up the bath with this news of flora. This one is exclusive to BM, so it's in vanilla and amber. It honestly smells amazing. I let Tom smell it and he was like, oh my god, that smells like a men's perfume, a men's fragrance. It is nice and cosy. It's got a warming blend of rich vanilla combined with a festive notes of orange and clove on a base of dark amber. I'm gonna just pop a couple of capfuls of this with some hot water in the bath. I find it just really fills the room and if I leave the door open, the whole of upstairs, with a gorgeous scent. So yeah, this is my Zaflora of choice today, this new festive edition. Make sure to try it out if you have a B&M local to you because this is a thumbs up from me.
I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and decorating for Christmas with me. Thank you once again to PD Paolo for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget you can take advantage of those Black Friday sales from the 24th of November from midnight. They will have offers on up to 40% off. Not to be missed. Perfect gifting ideas for Christmas. So thank you to them for working with me on today's video. Thanks to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.